Welcome back, guys. This is Jose Wojciechowski, another episode of uh, Talking Walking Dead. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, Jose Wojciechowski. Um, feel free, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of different kind of videos, do-it-yourself videos, cooking videos, um, all all in the above. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to touch base on last week's episode. Uh, I'm a day late and a dollar short. I do apologize to all my viewers. <clears throat> um, had a lot of work to do. Um, basically, what I want to do is I want to start off the episode with uh, Rick and his right hook to uh, Aaron. He wanted a set of presidents. He wanted to, uh, you know, basically knock the guy out and show him who the boss is. Kudos, Rick. Uh, you are definitely hardcore. Um, he is on pure survive mode now. All he wants to do is kill, 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 and ask questions later. Um, so. I, I really can't blame the guy. I mean, he's been through several seasons of trying to get better, trying to put his guns down, trying to, you know, start a life for his uh, family and his friends, but it, it's been shot to shit. Now, Michonne, uh, him and her are having a little tip and taff going back and forth. And, um, you know, they're having a power struggle. I think it's not more or less a, a big issue as of right now, as of last episode, but I think uh, they're trying to find common ground to, you know, meet on, I guess you could say. Uh, the third episode, I'm still, I'm still a little hazy on where is it going, what's it going on. I know the end goal is to find a place to live. I know the end goal is to find a place to strive and for them to set roots, you know, and stay in one spot for more than one or two episodes. Uh, they're all losing their sanity right now. They're all going crazy. The last couple of episodes, it's been a big uh, pity party, I guess you could say, with Daryl, with Carol, with, you know, the situation that happened uh, with Beth, which, you know, it's, it's cool. I totally understand. Uh, you know, a person will get broken down eventually, and, and they need time to grieve, uh, uh, you know, too bad you really don't have time to to grieve in the uh, zombie uh, 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 apocalypse. Um, you guys from PSN are sharing my airways with my YouTube channel, so I want to take a, a second out to uh, say subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jose Wojciechowski. I, I do want to give a shout out to a few people. Um, a group that I follow on my uh, Google Plus, Max Steel. Um, they have supplied me with this question that I have up. Feel free to answer it. I will put a link to their Google after uh, on my description. So I just want to give them a shout out. I've been having a couple of good conversations today with uh, a bunch of people on the PSN network. Uh, hello from Orlando. How you doing? Uh, I'm down here in West Palm Beach. Uh, Jay Taylor, Gang 231. So uh, moving right along. Um, Aaron, Aaron's, uh, he's very clean cut. Obviously, we all know that he's a homosexual, he's gay. So, I mean, I have no issues with that. Um, in the car, when he was tied up and he saw that flare go off, he, he kind of snapped. He was like, oh no, it's it, it's over, I'm done. I need to get out of here. I thought he was trying to set them up, but later on in the episode, I saw that he was just trying to get to his, uh, his, uh, his lover, his boyfriend, his man. Um, Glenn, I really, really want to talk about Glenn. Um, I had a couple of good conversations with uh, a guy that I, I've been talking to on my PSN network. I'm trying to get his uh, his name right now. Hold on one second. Um, he says that Glenn's going to die here soon by following the comic book. I hope not. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think Glenn has come a long way. He has, from season one, from saving Rick uh, when he was trapped in the tank, to learning about how to work on RVs, because he proved that when Abraham was driving and the RV uh, died, he pulled up that thing and found new batteries. He has killed, he has started new, uh, you know, friends and allies. In my personal opinion, I think Glenn has proven himself in the series and that was pretty much a little flashback from you know from a, a Glenn synopsis of, of what has happened uh, they left off at the gate 
but I'll get back to that. I really want to touch base on the whole leadership issue with uh, Rick and uh, Michonne. I mean, I, I really want to know where that's going. I think they could definitely work together. I think they have worked together in the past, and I think they are going to work together in the future. Uh, one thing that they said during the episode that really stuck out was uh, we can make it together, but we can only make it together. And I totally, totally agree with that. You know, uh, during that kind of uh, zombie, apop uh, zombie apop apocalypse or the shit hits the fan or, you know, the grid is down or everybody is, you know, fighting for their own. You do need a family. You do, you do need friends. You do, you do need to be prepped. But uh, that's basically, you know, what I have to say in a nutshell. Um, it was a good episode. I, I did like it. I do want it to pick up a little bit because the series is only but so long. And there are three episodes into it. So, um, uh, you know, I, I do want to see a little bit more uh, in detail and depth of what's going on and uh, what is in, uh, in hold for the future of The Walking Dead, the future of... Uh, these people that I've really grown attached to because I've been following the season for a long time. I played a video game on uh, on uh, the PlayStation Network, and um, you know I've I've grown attached to Maggie. I've grown attached to Rick. I've grown grown attached to his son, to uh, to uh, Daryl, to everybody. So uh, I want to do say I want to say thank you very much for. Uh, being a part of my my episode on uh, talking the Walking Dead. This is Jose Wojciechowski. Follow my YouTube channel. Um, feel free to subscribe, like to my uh, thing, my my videos. On Mondays, I do cook for uh, my cooking for the kids episodes on my PSN network. So feel free to jump in on on Mondays in midday, early morning. Uh, thank you very much, guys, and uh, you have a good night.